we've been having a lot of rain the last couple of weeks and that unfortunately meant that that one and that one back there split and started rotting so those are going to be worm food however i do have some more that are ripe this one as you can tell because they're kind of soft so i'll pick this one That. This one back here is good to go. Oh, there goes a leaf. Uh, this one is also rotten, unfortunately, that small one. That one still needs a little longer. But this one is good as well. And I have one more. It's in the back there. These are all really good size, by the way, too. So that's uh, pretty encouraging. That one, however, was my biggest one, but that's okay. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today my figs ripened and I have never ever tried a fig, like a fresh fig before. I've only ever had them in like those fig Newton bars and you know, and things like that. So I thought it was, would be fun to just try out one on camera for the very first time. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I know there's a lot of different types of figs, like honey figs, berry figs, and then probably some more, but they all seem to taste pretty vastly different. Although I have heard that the one that I have here, which is a Chicago hardy fig, is a berry fig. And supposedly it's pretty good. So I am, quite excited. It uh, certainly produces a lot. I, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll, you'll, you'll see, you would have seen that, that they produce quite a few figs. Now they also sometimes range from quite large to quite small. And that's even within my fig here, I have a pretty big variety of sizes, but that's okay. Cause at the end of the day, I'm more so worried about, you know, flavor. And maybe, maybe like a decent size. Like I feel like this is a pretty good size for a fig, you know? I feel like that's plenty big. It doesn't need to be much larger. But even these smaller ones, if they're really delicious, then, you know, that's fine too. So these two small ones here, I'll try, and I'll try the bigger one, the biggest one. Uh, but just, I want to try these two smaller ones just because they seem to be highly, highly pigmented. Like um, they're more purple than these ones are. Now I did know that all these figs were ripe, and some of the ways that you can tell is that the fig will be a little bit, will give a little bit to um, the touch. Like if you squeeze it a little bit, it'll give way a little bit. And also they start to droop. Like they start to, the little necks, which is these little things here, they start to kind of bend over and droop a little bit. So if those two things along with possibly color, depending on what type of fig you have, because there's also green figs, those are all indicators that your figs are ready to go. And these ones are all ready to go. So I'm gonna try this little itty bitty one first. It has a little bit of damage on it. I know that um, I wasn't gonna pick it, but it, it was still it was still fine. So I was like, okay, I'll just I'll just try it. And it was again highly pigmented, so it's one of the reasons why uh, you know I wanted to pick it anyway. Now, kind of per usual, I want to cut these in half and kind of show you the insides first. And then I'll try it. So, let's do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Look at that. Nice and color, nicely pigmented there. It looks like a... Looks like a berry fake. That's great. That's a lot of color in it, actually. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, I wasn't, I didn't know what I was expecting, but this is what I see them look like. So I guess that's a good thing. Okay, so let's cut open the second one. Oh yeah, well, these look great. Oh, uh, that reminds me too. Yeah, so it looks wonderful. It looks delicious, actually. Quite excited. It's good. Another little thing is that a, um, on the bottom, 
I'll show you on this one. This eye sometimes it's the bottom of the fig here. That eye sometimes is more open depending on what variety that you have. Um, and that can induce rot if you live in a high humidity environment. Uh, bugs can get in there. Um, so if you have an if you have one of those figs that has an open eye, then it can induce can induce rot more easily. Now these ones I actually felt like the eye was quite open and I've had a lot of rain, uh, thankfully. And uh, it still didn't seem to rot it out, but I guess if you combine that with uh, humidity very consistently, it can, you know, induce the rot. And I did lose two figs, unfortunately. But um, yeah, there's something to be mindful of when you go to select your variety that you uh, like to grow. This one seemed to be pretty reliable other than that really heavy rain. So, okay. Let's open up the last one here. He's cut very easily. That's a good thing. Oh yeah. Yes. Looks pretty good. Look at that. It's great. Very soft. Should be pretty good here. Now I know that that wall that you see on the outside there, in certain figs that wall is thicker, some of it is thinner. Uh, I guess this one, I don't know, maybe medium I guess. It's, I don't feel like it's too bad, but Obviously, you want that interior to be as big as possible because that's where you're going to find a lot of your flavor. This is the other one. Looks about the same. But yeah. Okay. So, with that done, let's uh, try some of these, shall we? Okay. Try the small one first. So, here we go. Oh, wow. Hmm. That's really unique. Mm, yeah, so I definitely, I definitely taste some berry there, but it has another flavor to it. Maybe like, trying to figure out what flavor that is. Yeah, definitely a berry flavor. But maybe also like a little bit of a vegetable flavor. It's not unpleasant at all, actually. I, I, that's very good. Wow. That is really good, actually. I, I really didn't know what I was expecting. Because some people hate figs, some people love figs. I mean, it's, it just seems to be all over the place as far as opinions on whether people like them or not. But that's, that's really good. But it definitely has a bit of a vegetable flavor to it. Okay, so let's try the second one and let's see if I can maybe figure out what that flavor is. Very nice. Hmm. Maybe kind of like a... Maybe like a, a little bit of a green bean flavor or something. But yeah, but yeah, I would say maybe like a green bean type of flavor. Delicious, but definitely peculiar. Berry and green bean. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, isn't it? All right, so here's the big one. Let's see if uh, that one tastes any different. The second one tasted about the same as the first one. All right, let's try this. I don't think this one was quite as ripe as the other ones. And I could have been because of the color. Still very good. Yeah. Ah, it's so weird. Shouldn't say weird. It's um unique. Berry and vegetable. <laughs> to me, I mean this is just my opinion. But I definitely wouldn't mind eating these. I mean, that's Pretty awesome to just be eating fresh like this. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah. Kind of like a green beanie type of and berry flavor combined. So, very cool. I've never had these before. They're delicious. I definitely am not gonna mind having more of these as uh, the years go by. So, that's all. pretty much all I have to say. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.